HTML tutorials for beginners. Table, row span, call span. What are these? How can we use them? I'm going to simplify it for you. Because if you're beginning to learn about HTML, tables can be confusing. We've got TR, TD. But if you look at the, the naming convention of HTML, it's actually straightforward to reason with it as to say, you know what? We have a table to present tabular data and table should have rows. And within the rows, we can have table data. But the first row can perhaps be special by having TH, table heading. We also have something else and that is called call span or row span. When you hear the term call span, what you want is, as an example, right? Let's say this data cell, you want that to be spanned into two spaces instead of just being a regular one. Okay, let's, let's think it like so. Let's say on the fourth one, let's say it is subtotal. Let's say you're creating a receipt. And here you're, you're going to say, you know what, for that, I'm going to use call span to span that subtotal so that it goes in, you know, to the next cell. Let's give two. So here, let's delete this third one. And let's now look at this and see what we've done. We've got table row. We've got two data cells. But one of them, we're saying call should be span, column should be span this way by two spaces. So let's refresh the page and voila. So now actually, let me put that above and let's say total, because it'll make more sense when you reason with it along this line. Now we use call span to say this is our subtotal, it should span into two columns with, but what if we say three call span? And let's see what happens then. Make sense? So it's gonna now take three data cell spaces. So let's make that two because that made more sense. Now, while we're here, let's go to our second row and on the first data cell we'll use raw span and we'll say two for that as well and now let's refresh the page to see what happens we're looking at the second row first data cell let's refresh now it's taken two spaces of row this way where call span was this way raw span this way simple now for us to then do that as in take full advantage of that let's delete the raw cell below so this moves from here and voila this is how you use call span raw span in tables in html and I'll talk with you in the next video session.